The entire development process of this Discord game was done live over my Twitch page, twitch.tv slash turkeydev. I do projects like this and similar ones all the time, so definitely go over there, give me a follow, and I'll see you guys when I stream. So in my previous videos, I showed you guys how I made both Snake and Hangman as playable games in Discord server chats, and today I wanted to continue that theme. Now while I do have ideas coming up of Discord games that really push the limits of what you can do, this one's going to be taking on a different concept of adding in two player games. So while this game will still utilize the reaction system that we built in my previous two videos, this time we will not be having an AI or anything to play against other than another player in chats or yourself if you really wanted to. So just like the past two videos, the first thing we're going to do is create our game board using an embed and display it the current state of the game, that way you can actually see the Connect 4 as you play it and get things right and looking correctly to what makes the most sense to display to our users and that isn't too hard to see. I went through a few iterations of this. The first one you can see here was just way too dark in the background and of course this next one here just did not look good at all. So finding the right emotes or the right uh, Unicode characters was a big task to initially do this. Once I found a game board design that I was happy enough with to move on, the next step was to add in the reactions that allowed the user to put their Connect 4 piece into the column they wanted. This was done through seven reactions of one through seven to correspond to the individual columns on the Connect 4 board that also had a column header on it above the board that showed the column that the reaction was corresponding to. Once again, we had to add a mapping between our reaction Unicode character and the column it represented. That way, when we did our placement logic, we would have a nice, clean, easy way to know which column the player wanted to place their piece in. Now that we had that column, we just had to insert the piece into it. The way we did that is we went to the very bottom of the column, to the bottom row on our Connect 4 board, and we checked if that row had a red or a yellow piece in it. If it did, we went to the row that's above it and checked again. We kept going up and checking until we found the row that had a white circle in it, representing no placement made. Once we found that, we simply replaced that with the corresponding user's turn, color, and from there we made the placement. Now all that's left is to change the turn of who's placing and to check for the game being over, of either someone has won, so the person who just placed has won, or the board has been filled up. Checking if the board is full is a relatively easy process. All we have to do is go through every index in the array that represents our board and see if any of them are a white circle. If any of them are, we return that the board is not full. However, if we get through the entire array and we have not found any white circles and the board is full, and we return as such. Checking if the user has won the game, however, is not nearly as easy of a task. However, we can do some tricks to help make our work we have to do a little bit easier. The biggest trick we can do is we can only check around where the player has made their placement. Now because the way you win Connect 4 is by connecting 4 pieces in a row, you can only do that by placing a piece down. So every time they place a piece down, we only need to check where that piece that was placed can make a Connect 4. Now because of that, we don't need to check the entire board, we only need to check around that piece. And the only ways we need to check around that piece are the 4 ways in which you can make a Connect 4, by vertical, horizontal, or the 2 diagonals. Once broken up into those four conditions, all we need to do is check for connect four in those positions, in which case leaves us with four possible ways that that piece can be placed to create a connect four. If it's at the start, the second position, the third position, or the end of that connect four. We can now utilize some for loops here to make our life a lot, bit, a lot easier and condense the code down a lot. And in the end, while this might have been a more difficult process to think through, the solution is actually not too bad. I did have to go back and make one more change though, as currently the players could keep placing uh, pieces in the same column and just keep placing and placing and it would actually overflow the column and the game wouldn't really do anything about it if you went outside the height of the allowed space. So I did make a change to disallow that from happening. And when it does happen, what I actually do is actually remove that reaction in completely so they can no longer choose that column to place a piece in. And with that, we have a working Connect 4 game. You can now play, fill the entire board up, and tie, or connect Connect 4 and win the game. It's a two-player game, and that's it. So I know this game wasn't quite as challenging as the rest of them, even though it was a two-player game. The concept was basically the same as the past two games, so there wasn't really much different to do. That being said, I do have some plans in the next video to make games that will be definitely challenging this and definitely changing it up. I'm hoping the next games I make will have no reactions needed and you actually play through the embed itself just straight up through there. So stick around for that, stay tuned and watch out for that video coming in the near future. 
So with that, the code for this is all in the description, just like always. I might release this bot out publicly. I haven't fully decided yet, but for now, all the code is there for you guys to see and to run if you really want to. But on that note, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.